Hey guys, welcome and thank you so much for watching. So today I'm going to be showing you the best musky fragrances, of course, according to me. So if you're interested, please keep watching. So I'm going to start with the fragrances that I do not own. However, I do have the samples and I tested them already and I know what they smell like. I know how they perform. So of course, the first one is going to be from Montal and it's called Roses Musk. You guys, the very first time when I smelled this fragrance, I wasn't like crazy about it. I thought it smelled nice, but it was just like too rosy for me. But after trying a lot of floral scents, I kind of got used to that rosy smell. And now I like a lot of rose perfumes. And I've had this, I would say, for like a year now. And I took it out again. I sprayed it and I was like, wow, it's just beautiful. It smells very expensive and very sophisticated. And the notes are like pretty simple. I believe there's only rose in here, musk, and jasmine. And I don't smell any jasmine in here. It's basically a very musky, rosy scent. And it's absolutely beautiful. It smells like a rich woman. You're definitely going to stand out wearing this. And once you smell this, you will not be able to confuse this with anything else. To me, this is definitely signature worthy. So yeah, I absolutely love it. I know my friend has this and I actually got this to my mother-in-law and she also loves it. So yeah, absolutely gorgeous fragrance. So the next one I have here is from, oh God, I hope I can pronounce this right. It is from Fugia and it's called La, La Cativa. I'm not going to try even pronouncing this. I'm just going to put the name right here. But this is basically a black currant scent. And to be honest, I really wanted to try this for a long time. And this is pretty new. I only got this a few weeks ago. And this is not a typical black currant scent. This smells very kind of like fresh and airy and a little bit aquatic, but not salty in any way. And it also smells a little bit green. To be honest, it's very hard to describe this scent because it's, again, it's very unusual. It's not the typical black currant that you would usually get in most of the fragrances. It's very airy and fresh and a little bit sweet. This is definitely amazing for summertime and springtime. And the musk that's in here is very light and fresh. It's not, again, stinky. It doesn't smell like B.O. or anything like that. So yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Every time I put this on my skin, even though I have this like in what, 1ml, 2ml, I have this small dabber right here. You know, I usually can tell just from one drop how good the fragrance is, if it performs well, if it smells well. So even though it's in this tiny perfume bottle right here, I can still tell you how good this is, okay? Every time I dab this on my skin, it smells very fresh. It reminds me of like summertime and springtime. It's just so, so juicy and nice. If you haven't tried this, you definitely need to. I feel like this is like a hidden gem. I don't know. I haven't heard anybody on YouTube talking about this. So yeah, I definitely like this fragrance and you also need to try this out. Okay, and the last sample that I have here is called... I believe the house is called Simimi. I don't know, Samimi, and it's called Blanc de Sisa. I hope I pronounced that right. But you guys, oh my God, the very first time I smelled this fragrance, I was like, this definitely reminds me of something that I have already in my collection. And so in the opening, it smells very fruity, like kind of tropical and sweet. And then it dries down to like this beautiful white musk that smells very, very clean. And it basically reminds me of Mont Blanc Signature. That's what it smells like in the dry down. I definitely smell an orange in here. It smells very, very similar to Signature, but there's no orange in here. I believe there's like mango in here, papaya and something else, but... Yeah, I can't pinpoint out those fruits in here. I can only smell like a mix of fruits and something milky and creamy and musky. But the musk is so beautiful. Again, if you know what Mont Blanc signature smells like, this smells pretty similar in the dry down. Well, at least in my opinion. And 
the bottle is just gorgeous it's white with like gold and it's so pretty and i wish i had that in my collection but it's just so expensive and because i have signature in my collection i don't think i will get it but you know what you never know i always say this and then i get it so yeah but it definitely smells different even though it smells similar to signature the opening is completely different it's very fruity oh my god and very milky now i kind of get that mango in here it smells gorgeous so yeah if you haven't tried this you definitely need to you're missing out as usual okay and now let's start with the perfumes that i actually own and the first one is keep glazed from the house of oud now i feel like i always talk about this perfume on my channel it's just so good you guys it's just different okay it smells different now apparently this is a gourmand and i did not think that way i don't smell whatever is in here basically i only smell a few notes so there's like ginger in here mango whipped cream uh there's frozen lemon in here there's like a bunch of good stuff in here and when you read the notes you're like mm, this definitely is yummy you know it smells good however once you smell this in my opinion it does not smell like mango or anything like that it's just very different i definitely smell the ginger that's in here so basically what i smell in here is ginger the frozen lemon the strawberry leaf and whipped cream now there's also coconut in here and i do not smell it whatsoever it just smells kind of milky because of that whipped cream and i get a lot of like zest and ginger and it's just basically kind of green and citrusy that's at least what i get and i get very surprised every time i hear somebody on youtube saying that this smells very like gourmand and sweet like in fact a lot of people say that this is very sweet like cloying and i'm like what are you talking about it does not smell sweet whatsoever it smells kind of fresh and zesty and a little bit spicy because of that ginger so yeah that's just what i get from this fragrance and by the way the bottle is just pretty it's just gorgeous as usual all of the uh, perfumes from the house of oud are stunning so yeah if you still haven't tried this you definitely need to i feel like this is a jam in my collection and i definitely cannot imagine having my perfume collection without this fragrance okay the next one i have here is of course signature from mont blanc and you guys how pretty is this bottle it's just gorgeous i love white and gold packaging it's just mm, so pretty and refreshing and even though i wasn't crazy about this fragrance the first time when i bought this i am now because it is the most beautiful clean musk ever it's very milky and creamy and there's an orange in here and i definitely smell that orange and a lot of people say that this is a gourmand to them you know they smell like an orange cake topped with whipped cream or something like that i do not smell that to me this is like a very fresh and clean kind of soapy fragrance it definitely reminds me of like a laundry detergent a little bit that's um citrusy and orangey and i love that i love soapy fragrances i love anything that smells clean clean clothes or like you just took a shower you know i absolutely love that so and you guys for the price you definitely cannot go wrong with this i definitely feel like this is a safe blind buy just because it's so soft and like sensual and it's just a very nice sweet perfume the musk is absolutely gorgeous in here okay the next one i have is from zerzhov and it's called dolce amalfi now i have this in 30 ml so the reason i don't have the 100 ml bottle is that it was always sold out back in the day and that was the only one that was available so yeah that's why i have this tiny bottle and you guys so this is a very interesting scent okay so the very first time when i smelled it i thought of like coca-cola fruity and fizzy sweet drink but then i read fragrantica and you know what it just like kind of ruined it for me 
Somebody on Fragrantica wrote that this smells like a spicy, juicy fruit gum. If you know what juicy fruit smells like, you guys, now that's all that I get from this fragrance is a spicy, juicy fruit. And I cannot help it. And I love juicy fruit, but it's just like, like I smelled something different in here. You know what I mean? I smelled something definitely, I don't know, like more like Coca-Cola like, you know, and I like that. And it just smelled very yummy. And even though I love juicy fruit, it's like, it's not what I wanted to smell in here, basically. You know what I mean? And you know what I noticed? Like, I absolutely hate that. When people say that they do not like the fragrance, and it's okay. Like, you know, just say that you don't like the fragrance, but don't tell me that it smells like, I don't know, chicken liver, that it smells like blood or, you know, that type of stuff because it ruins it for me. I'm that type of a person that it does affect me. I know that some people don't care, you know, if they like a fragrance, they still like it. But that kind of just like puts something in the back of my head and I'm like, hmm, yeah, like now I definitely smell that and I don't know if I like that. You know what I mean? So like I just absolutely hate when people do that. Like if you don't like the fragrance, just say that you don't like it. Don't say like something nasty, even though juicy fruit is not nasty, but that's just like an example that I'm giving you. So yeah, but this is absolutely gorgeous. There's musk in here and the musk again smells very clean and it just smells like a fruity bubble gum. Very, very nice. You guys, this is gonna stay on your skin forever and ever until you take a shower. It's absolutely amazing. The lasting power is great. And you know, what else can I say about Zerzhev's house? It's just always so good. And of course, I have Delina here from Perfums de Marley, the original Delina. And you guys, this is probably the most sexiest musk that I have smelled. It does smell clean, but it smells clean in a different way. I don't really know how to explain that. Like if you would take, for example, Signature from Mont Blanc, this smells like in a soapy way, you know, it's clean in a soapy way. This one smells clean, but it just smells in a different way. I really don't know how to explain that. It's just a very nice rosy scent that smells very girly, like very feminine. And I just feel like you cannot go wrong with this perfume. And to be honest, when I smell this, well, before I got this, I was not into floral scents whatsoever. I hated rosy perfumes. And I was like, what the hell is the hype is about with this fragrance? You know, I like I really wanted to try it. And from the very first sniff, I was like, oh my God, wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. It smells rich. It smells expensive. It smells feminine. It's just so good. Like, if you're a perfume lover, you definitely need this in your collection. And you guys, the performance is just... I started comparing all of my perfumes to either Delina or Italica from Zerzhov because those are like beast modes. All you need is like one spray, maybe even like half a spray. The whole room is going to smell, the whole house is going to smell, and it's going to stay for like more than 12 hours. I'm pretty sure like if you're not going to shower for like... 24 hours it's still gonna be on your skin it's absolutely amazing so if you still haven't tried this you definitely definitely need to another beautiful fragrance is from serge Lutens, and it's called nuit de cellophane i believe it translates as the cellophane night please let me know in the comments below because i could be wrong but yeah this is basically a fruity musky fragrance there's also white florals in here i believe and I do smell something floral in here. However, it it is more fruity than floral. It, well, at least to me. And I definitely smell an orange in here. I also feel like this is kind of... I basically layer this one with this one sometimes because I feel like even though they are different, there's an orange in here and I believe there's also an orange in here. And I get like the same vibes from both of these fragrances and I feel like they go together very well and okay. so yeah because there's an orange in here and a musk I kind of it kind of reminds me of Mont Blanc but yeah it's just like a very clean fragrance again in my opinion and in the summertime it opens up beautifully 
it becomes very sweet and orangey and a little bit floral and it's definitely that clean musk that's a little bit creamy and milky even though there's nothing milky in this fragrance that's just what i get from it and i absolutely love layering these two together okay another beast that i have in my collection is erba pora from zerjov again you guys this fragrance is just absolutely insane all you need is like half a spray and you're good to go the musk is just omg it's like crazy strong if you know what kirke or kirke from tiziana terenzi smells like this definitely reminds me of that perfume but i don't like kirke i like this one more this is a fruity musk and it's just <laughs> It's just so strong. You're gonna smell like this fragrance the whole day, more than 12 hours. And if you spray this on your clothes, even after washing your clothes, you will still smell this on. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful fragrance. Very, very pretty. And it also smells very expensive. I can't imagine like wearing a t-shirt and like shorts and wearing this. Every time I smell this, I think of like, a very nice blouse that's very expensive and maybe you're wearing like an expensive skirt or pants it's just like it's basically a special occasion fragrance so yeah absolutely gorgeous definitely try this out and i have this in 50 ml not expensive so yeah another beautiful jam in my collection is called drage from Renaissance. it's in this beautiful white bottle again and this is basically an almond fragrance and you guys this kind of reminds me of italica but this is not beast mode and i feel like this is more subtle and soft comparing to italica now i feel like it smells kind of similar in the opening but in the dry down it's just super super musky and that's all that i get it's just a very beautiful musk and this is a little bit sweet also now i believe the name actually came from the actual drage candy which is basically an almond that's covered with um like this uh, milky sugar coating i believe so yeah they're like different colored ones if you know what i'm talking about i'm gonna insert a picture here that's what it smells like it smells exactly like that candy let me spray this one mm, yeah it smells so good you guys, it definitely reminds me of Italica, but more like in a bubblegum way. And like I said, very, very like soft and subtle. So if you think that Italica is too strong for you, I suggest that you should try this one out. I think you might like this one. And you guys, this is pretty new in my collection. However, it is one of my favorites now. And sometimes I wear this to bed. I just love it so much. And it's from Initio and it's called Musk Therapy gorgeous bottle again white and gold you guys this is the most beautiful musk fragrance that's out there period this is my favorite musk fragrance now this basically smells like a creamy black currant that's very milky and very like sweet and it just smells very clean it kind of reminds me of Mont Blanc again here, but they're completely different. The scents are completely different, um, but I feel like they're in the same family. You know what I mean? This one's milky and creamy, and this one's also milky and creamy. And this one's also, like, it doesn't smell soapy, but it does smell, like, clean, but not really soapy, but kind of soapy. <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain this, but... It just basically smells clean and milky and creamy and it's like the most beautiful black currant that's in here there's also citruses in here i believe there's bergamot and something else or maybe there's only bergamot in here and yeah you can smell that only a little bit in the opening and those notes just fly away pretty quickly and then you get that black currant and just cream and milk and I believe there is a picture on Fragrantica with like white feathers in this fragrance and I believe that that picture really represents this perfume. 
so gorgeous definitely underrated the performance is great it has a great lasting power it has a great projection all i do is like one to two sprays with this and i'm good for the whole day and then i have the last fragrance here but not least this is from the atar collection and it's called hayari this is again fruity very fruity and there's a lot of raspberry in here so if you're looking for a raspberry scent this is definitely it you know i feel like there are raspberry fragrances out there and they would kind of just like stick that note in there but you can't really smell it at least that's how i am i can never detect that raspberry however in this one that's all that i can smell it's like a very creamy milky raspberry it kind of smells like a raspberry ice cream or a raspberry sorbet. It also really reminds me of a raspberry hookah. Now, I'm not talking about the actual wet tobacco that's in the hookah. I'm talking about the smoke itself. So if you ever smoked a raspberry hookah, this is what it smells like to me. And I absolutely love it. And to be honest, I've been looking for that hookah scent for a very long time. And, you know, I used to read reviews where people would mention a bunch of perfumes. They would be like, oh, this one smells like hookah bar and blah, 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 and whatever. And I never did. However, with this one, I definitely get that. So if you're looking for a raspberry scent, raspberry ice cream, or a raspberry hookah, this is definitely it. The performance is okay. It's not the best. I feel like it lasts a little bit longer when it's cooler. However, for me... This is a summer scent and I feel like it opens up beautifully in the summer, it becomes very fruity and milky and my mom also loves this and I just got her this for her birthday. So yeah, this is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of these fragrances as usual and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.